white crane stood, a vivid, motionless streak. Peacock and parrot, jewel soil and tree. The dove's soft moan enriched the enamored air, and fire-winged wild rakes swam in silvery pools. Earth couched alone with her great lover, heaven, Uncovered to her consort's purple eye, in her luxurious ecstasy of joy, she squandered the love music of her notes, wasted the pattern of her blooms, and festival riot of her scents and hues. A cry and leap and hurry were around, the stealthy footfalls of her chasing things, the shaggy emerald of her centaur mane, the gold and sapphire of her warmth and blaze, magician of her rapt felicities, blithe, sensuous-hearted, careless and divine. Life ran or hid in her delightful rooms, Behind all brooded nature's grandiose calm, primeval peace was there, and in its bosom held undisturbed the strife of bird and beast. Man, the deep burrowed artificer, had not come to lay his hands on happy and conscient things. Thought was not there, nor the measurer strong I toil. Life had not learned its discord with its aim. The mighty mother lay outstretched at ease. All was in line with her first satisfied plan. Moved by a universal will of joy, the trees bloomed in their green felicity, and the wild children brooded not on pain. The end recline a stern and giant tract of tangled depths and solemn questioning hills and peaks like a bare austerity of the soul, armored, remote, and desolately grand like the thought-screened infinities that lie behind that rapt smile of the Almighty's dance. A matted, forest-headed, invaded heaven.